another glory sunshiny day here. Today we're off to Animal Kingdom where we have got just purchased a lightning lane for Avatar Flight of Passage. We're going to try and get it as early as possible. It is a half past seven early entry for on-site visitors. So let's see how we go and we're going to try and catch this bus. We are about two feet ahead of the stampede. We survived. Ross is wearing his Mufasa t-shirt today. He almost felt a lot like Mufasa there. I did. <laughs> likes Mufasa. We survived. But we have just made it through the gates of Animal Kingdom. The crowds are going that way. We're headed for the mountain. Expedition Everest was a walk on, so we're doing the only sensible thing we can do. I'm going around again. It would be rude not to. Well, that'll wake you up in the morning. Ross is, is on videography duty just now. He is taking pictures and a film of... Oh, he's going to get a good photo. He's so much better at taking photos than I am. He's going to get a great photo. Makes him sick. Oh, hi. Hello. It's picture time. I was just here. Well, that was fun. Walk yeah. on. Walk on twice. Now I could walk on a third time. Well, let's not be greedy because Doctor Grant Seeker awaits you. Doctor Grant Seeker needs my help. Let's go. Now, as some of you have heard me say before, this is my favourite park. It's home of the Big Three. I mean, my personal Big Three: Expedition Everest, Flight of Passage, and the mighty, mighty dinosaur. Now, with that being my favourite ride, you would think I would film it to show everyone what I love about it. For those of you who've been on it, you know why I don't film on it. You know why. I don't have the upper body strength to hang on to this camera while on dinosaur. <laughs> when it says that it is a turbulent ride, please believe the signs it is a turbulent, jerky ride. And you will get thrown about. 
let's hope that my now 40 year old back is still up for this. We've made it back from the Cretaceous period. That was not only a walk on, but we had <laughs> a time on. rover to ourselves. It was amazing. I was so sad that there were people now in the queue when we came down because I was going for the first time in my life to say, I just go around again, yeah. <laughs> not to be, but we're going to do a quick water and restroom break and then maybe if it's still a five minute wait. I feel like we're going to the past. I'm going back to the past. My top tips for riding dinosaur. If you do have small children and they're a little bit nervous about going on the ride, always sit them in the middle. Don't let them sit on the outside. The outside is the worst place to sit if anybody's a little bit scared of the dark, loud, jerky ride. Take the warning seriously when it says big scary dinosaurs and sit your children on the inside. Also, if you are worried about getting thrown about, just push yourself as far back into your seat as possible and hang on for dear life. It saves your ribs and your back and several internal organs. Top tips. Check in. It is five past nine in the morning. We've been here for an hour and five minutes. We have been on Expedition Everest twice. We've been on Dinosaur twice. So that earns us a bit of a leisurely pace now. We're going to take a meander over to Discovery Island. I could be in the market for a coffee. A Danish. I could be in the market for a pastry. Let's find out. Coming home with me.
Okay, quick update, it's 2.45 and 29 degrees. So the only fitting thing to do is go and kill her, Cali Rapper Rapids. Now as a good number of you know, a certain person does not actually do well with water rides. So let's see how she gets on. How do you feel? Wet. Okay, it is almost four o'clock. What have we been up to? We have been to see the person of the Lion King. We I think we've been on dinosaur again. No, not we're going on dinosaur now. We're going on dinosaur just shortly. We went on Triceratops of Spin. Mm, yeah. We went on Cali River Rapids. We went on Cali River Rapids. I only had myself to blame. I knew what was going to happen. I knew what was going to happen and I accepted my fate when I got on the rapids and now everything is, is wet. That's okay, I accepted my fate. That's okay. That's okay. And Triceratops Spin was the last ride we had to do in the park today and we have now completed all rides in Animal Kingdom in one day which I'm quite impressed with considering it's very very busy. Genie Plus has actually worked out quite well for us today. The dreaded Genie Plus has actually been quite good today. But yeah, I was I was I was a bit emotional in Festival of the Lion King when the birds flew. It was a bit emotional. My falls. ears were leaking. No, my ears were leaking. My ears were leaking. My ears were not leaking. My eyes were leaking. But yeah, my eyes leaked a little bit in Festival of the Lion King. Mm -hmm. And not, not that anybody could tell now because I'm just completely drenched everywhere. Yeah, you're currently everywhere. wearing half of Galen um, Yeah, it's pretty bad. We've obviously had some lunch as well, so we had lunch in Satuli Canteen. We didn't film much of it. You've seen the eat cheeseburger pods before. Good things. Yeah, so I think we're going to wrap up the day with one last jaunt into the past on Dinosaur. And then we're going to start making a move towards the resort, but not before, not before we go shopping. It's going to be an expensive day. Mastercard, you are welcome. It's going to be an expensive day. shower and change and freshen up and we're now all checked in and waiting for Boatwright's Dining Hall over here at Boat Lane Riverside. We are all done with dinner at Boatwright's Dining Hall. <laughs> As I get attacked by beasties or something. <laughs> yeah, it's that dusk time. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get bites. But yeah, we're all done with dinner at Boatwright's Dining Hall. It's a southern inspired menu. And I'll pop a link to the menu in the in the description somewhere if anybody wants to check it out. That's our first time eating there, as I think I mentioned earlier. We've been coming to this resort for 15 years and we've never eaten in boat rides. One of the reasons for that, it used to have a really terrible reputation for its food. 
over the last few years it's had a really big revamp of its menu I noticed the place was packed tonight it was so I'll start by telling you what we had um, and then we'll, we'll tell you what we thought of it so we started with the Mardi Gras fritters which were pimento cheese fritters with a red pepper jelly and then we had the taste of the bayou which was an all you care to enjoy platter on it if I'm getting this right from memory it had smoked sausage barbecue pork ribs barbecue beef biscuit Cajun chicken corn on the cob with Cajun butter garlic green beans mashed potatoes macaroni cheese did I miss anything? I can't think of anything that you missed ok what did you think of the taste of the bayou? ok well, I need to remind everybody of the last year's vlog of I have the taste buds of a six year old and well I don't get very well don't really expand much so when I say I devoured that plate and everything was absolutely perfect is an understatement as one more thing to expand on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, yeah, the, I thought the fritters were going to be heavier than the cheese looked but it was not it was, mm -hmm. it was just nice but, but I think the cornbread for you was a Thing, yes, so they brought out cornbread to start. Oh, cornbread whipped butter <clears throat> to die for. When I tell you that even after the Man V food display that was going on, I still managed to shovel one more slice of that cornbread in before calling it quits. But yeah, as Ross says, the fritters were really nice and light. They were really, it was an interesting flavour. I don't think I've ever had pimento cheese before. I don't think I um, have either. But it was a really nice light appetizer we probably didn't need an appetizer with the amount of food that was coming and, and the food did come out very quickly came out very quickly so there was no break really between the two courses um, yeah as Ross said everything on the plate was just absolutely jam packed full of flavour and you, you could have if you had ample room you could just eat and eat and eat at that plate the only thing I would say is it did feel like man v food. It did feel like a lot. And if anything, I think it could be smaller portions. It's one of those things just to be aware of it if you did order that dish. It is an enormous plate of food. And I know some people find that quite daunting when that's put down to them. But it was an enormous plate of food. I was quite impressed that you put as much of that away as you did. Um, I started to feel ill in the best possible way towards the end but yeah it was everything was absolutely delicious on the plate I just wish I could have found more room to eat it all so I think that if you go hungry that is the main thing don't go if you've eaten anything in the previous few hours yeah make sure you are waiting or ready for your, your meal yeah and definitely go hungry yeah so um, the, the shaky camera work that's going on here is, is, is just as all these little flying insects land on me. I'm getting very nervous sitting out here at dusk. But the resort is very, very pretty. Just now it's all lighting up as the sun goes down, so it's very, very pretty. I can hear horse hooves. So the carriage must be out this evening. We did see it going over the bridge earlier as well. Um, oh, yes, yeah, somebody's gone by. Oh, the bridge just the carriage. Down. I think we're probably going to wrap up the vlog here for this evening before we get eaten alive out here. Overall thoughts for today? Out of ten, what would you give today out of ten? I can't think of anything that was would knock any points off, so I would say ten. Yeah, I would say it was a ten out of ten day. Genie Plus worked really well for us. I got to ride Dinosaur three times, I got to ride Everest three times. I did go on Cali River Rapids, which was ill-advised, but at least it meant we, we went on every ride in the park and we saw the festival of the Lion King and had some ice cream, had some and snacks. Even though both of us got absolutely drenched head to toe, it was still a great, great, great ride. Yeah, it's a good ride. It's quite a short ride, Cali yeah. River Rapids. It's always over much sooner than 
I expect it. It's always the faces just thinking who's going to get soaked and well, anyone who's sitting anywhere near you is always going to get soaked. So. Yeah, it was me. Yeah. It's always me. But yeah, we'll wrap up here for this evening. I think we're going to go and grab our mugs and take a stroll around the resort. And then collapse in a heap. Collapse in a heap. I need a power nap now. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.